YouTube. So we back from the range, man. So, so look, unfortunately, didn't get to bust out the AR-15 because the range that I went to, it's an indoor range. And on their list of prohibited ammo was green tips. Okay. That's the ammo I went and picked up from Academy. They said they couldn't, you can't shoot that at the, uh, at the range. So I was just like, all right, man, cool, cool, whatever. I'm about to find somewhere else to go. Best believe we're going, we still going to get this shot, but, uh, just got to go somewhere else. But it is what it is to get that out of the way. Uh, just cause we didn't get to shoot the AR pistol. That didn't mean I wasn't going to let that stop me from shooting the, uh, from shooting the handguns. So, I mean, boom, quick look at my range bag. Uh, I do have a pair of Air Pros that's still in my car. Got to get those out. Those are the ones that I wore. These ones here, these, y'all know which ones these are. These are the, uh, the Walkers, Skywalkers, whatever. I got to get some new batteries from. I didn't get to use these because I need to get some new AAA batteries. They didn't have any at the range. I've been knowing I need to needed to get new batteries, but... I didn't get them before I stopped at the range. So next time I go, I'm going to use these. And then really shoot. These here, these going to come in handy because I'm telling y'all, when I was there today, them fools were shooting, man, like, it wasn't even packed. There was probably like two other shooters in there. But one dude to my right, he was shooting a damn 1911 45 pistol, loud as fuck. Dude to my left, it looked like he was shooting some type of Springfield. My guess would be either 40. Or no, nah, really? Or yeah, either a forty or a ten, but I don't know. But it was thumping too, and it was just like, boom, boom, and it was just like it was just crazy in there. It was low-key giving me a headache, but really because of that shoot, gotta find somewhere else to shoot where I can shoot my AR pistol, and then where I can shoot, and it's not like just too hectic. Try to get there a little bit earlier. I would have liked to go on about an hour before I went. I went at about a little bit after eleven a.m. I like to go about ten a.m. right when they open. It is what it is, whatever. But uh, yeah, the Air Pros. Uh, what we got next? Looks like we got the Shield Plus, the EDC, or one of the EDC options right here. Shield Plus. Can't say enough great things about this pistol. I mean, you really can. Yeah, I mean, there there definitely are some cons to this pistol. I'm going to make another video about that as I get some more. Uh, or really, yeah, I'm going to just make another video about it. Specifically, because we got some things to talk about for in regard to this pistol right here. Shield Plus, 9mm, 13 round mag right there. The main issue, honestly, or yeah, we could talk about it now. The issue with this gun right here is this magazine. I'm going to show you all in the video, but this is the issue. Next, go to the Glock later. We got the Taurus TX-22 uh, 22 long rifle. This right here, extremely flat shooter, extremely fun to shoot. Uh, if you're taking somebody to the range and they kind of inexperienced, this right here, this should get them going. All right, they should be pretty solid with this. Should be able to teach them with this. They got a safety on it. The sights, polymer sights, uh, three dot white sights, but they good. The trigger, pretty respectable. Uh, the safety. Pretty easy to navigate. It's a great pistol. Great pistol. I will say it hasn't been 100% perfect, reliable. It's a 22. Plus, whenever you when you add on the damn uh, tandem cross, it's a plus five extension on here. It's going. I mean, shoot. One of the mags is, has been flawless. The other mag, it come in a two pack. The other mag, it, it gave me a little bit of issues. I think I fixed it. We're going to see next time I go to the range. That's the 22. Ammo. Blazer. Brass casing. That's typically what I shoot. If I'm not shooting this, I'll probably shoot some uh, some Winchester. Typical 9, 9 mil, whatever is like cheap you can find. That's what I'm shooting. I ain't bougie about it. If it's there, if it's available, if it's for a good price, I'm picking it up. I'm shooting it. I don't care if it is. If it's fucking five bucks for a box of 50, I'll buy it. I will shoot it. All right, next. This is what I put through my Taurus. This is the only type of rounds that's been through the Taurus. The Remington 22. Hollow. 
Brass plated hollow points. Excellent deal. 525 rounds. It's like 40 bucks. Can't beat that deal. I said shit. Fuck it. I said, give me all that shit. I'll tell you. But nah. So I done showed y'all the AR pistol. We done talked about that. We done talked about the Taurus. Y'all know what's up with that. Shield Plus. We're gonna get there. Next video. Ear pros. Ammo. Y'all seen the ammo. Last thing to talk about the Glock 45. The Glock 45. And uh right here, I'm gonna show y'all just real quick. We clear. When I go to the range, or at least today when I went to the range, I didn't I didn't shoot any rounds out of this mag right here. Cause I mean obviously this is my EDC mag. That's what I uh when I EDC the gun, that's what I that's what I that's what I carry. So still didn't shoot any FMJs out of there simply because uh just didn't feel like taking the mag or the rounds out of this here magazine. So I was like, whatever. I'm going to leave it in there. So I'm going to show y'all where I do keep my mags. Hold up. Not right there. Wrong pouch. My B. Here we go. Where I do keep my mags. See, it got a little couple brass cases and they got to get those out. But this mag right here, this is the one that was giving me issues. Uh, But I, like I said, I think I fixed it. Like, y'all see the rounds, how it's sitting on there on the follower. Pretty much, this thing was just like super deep down in there, and it was like stuck. But I mean, obviously, if I put if I put this in the gun now, it'll do what it's supposed to do. But like, it just got stuck down in there, and I mean that was causing like a little jam issue or whatever. Glock mags, got one right here. Uh, got another one in the living room. Left it out there on accident, but uh, this one I shoot out the Glock. When I'm not when I'm not using this one here. Cause I only got one of these coyote mags. I'm gonna definitely have to give me a couple more, but for now I only got one. Alright. I'll put that back in there. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just set that next to the ammo. But yeah. The holster. Tactical scorpion gear. The Glock 45. The sight. Uh, if y'all seen my last video, y'all know what I, I had that little issue with the front sight coming loose. I'm about to tighten it up again. Throw some Loctite on there. I didn't throw the Loctite on there last time, so I'm going to have to tighten that up. Loctite it. Uh, and I mean, shoot. The Glock, man. Out of all the guns in my collection, I could really say this one here has been the one that's given me the least amount of issues. Uh, I would say... Can I focus? I would say this one right here, the one that... I mean, I'm definitely the most comfortable with. And if I had to pick one, I mean, you already know. I don't even got to say anything after that. If I had to pick one, it's this right here. And honestly, I think it'd be really tough for another firearm to compete with this. Just by thinking about all the firearms that's out there. Because honestly, yes, there are guns that, that could be a little bit better than this. One that's coming to my mind right now is that Canik. But like, if you think about it, take this, compare it to the Canik. The Canik is way bigger. I know which Canik I'm talking about. I made a video about it. If you ain't seen it, go scroll through it. But it's way bigger than this. This compared to a 19, got the slide. 19 grip is small. I got big ass hands. I don't want that. 43X. I got the Shield Plus. And I got big hands. So obviously, I got a big body. I mean, shoot. Probably. I ain't going to. I ain't going to say nothing about that. But hey, big hands. Hey, I'm I'm six four. I don't gotta like. I'm not a small dude. So forty three X, yes, it's cool. But I got the Shield Plus, forty five. I think it concealed just fine. Uh, what else is out there? Nineteen eleven. Why do I want a nineteen eleven? Well, I could go nineteen plus one. Out the forty five, with some good ass sights. With a good ass trigger, y'all be y'all sleep on the Glock triggers. Y'all really sleep. Y'all gotta stop sleeping on the Glock triggers. Y'all have to. But shoot, yeah. I mean, that's really it. The Glock forty five. This just this joint here is pretty much perfect, man. Pretty much perfect. The only thing I'm missing on here is probably a light. Probably gonna go look up look up me a light right quick. Maybe get that for me for myself for Christmas. Little life for the Glock, but uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it.
If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to your boy. If you made it through all this this way, really appreciate you, my guy. Shout out my guy, Eyes and Ears Tactical. Shout out all my subs, uh, especially if you rock on me still here, 755 subs deep. I know we got big plans. Uh, keep supporting. I appreciate all the support. Happy holidays to everybody. Uh, comment down below. I'm going to check out your channels. I'll subscribe if I'm not subscribed to y'all already. And uh, y'all see me next video. Peace.